Hey there YouTube, this is Math Bowler with my 2016 Hunt Auctions Autograph Recap. They were appearing at the convention center again and I got tickets for three of the players. Didn't really want to shell out the money for McCutcheon. In hindsight, probably wouldn't have been a bad thing to do, but I'm pretty happy with what I got and you'll see why. Starting off, uh, of the three players that I got autographs from, I got a total of five autographs total. Got one thing signed by Gregory Polanco. This is a foul ball that I snagged. I made the slow-mo replay of the game cast, the telecast. It was a foul ball where I picked it. Pretty impressed with myself. Add the inscription. Game used for 16-16. Got two items signed by Francisco Cervelli. This is from the July 12, 2015 game. It was a great, great game. Toward the end of the game, Francesco Cervelli was one of a number of players who had an amazing comeback rally. Got him on this authenticated game ball from that game. This was a pitch in the dirt, but it was from that game. Later on, he was one of many people who were big contributors. If you want to see some cool Pirates highlights, just look at the July 11th and July 12th highlights from 2015. Back-to-back -back extra inning walk-offs against the Cardinals right before the All-Star break. Then I got another baseball from the same exact game. This was a Francisco Cervelli foul to the screen with an inscription, the Vita Bella inscription. Some of you may still recall Greg Bound screaming Vita Bella three times when he got his big hit as part of that 10th inning rally. I've got a few items, game use items that were hit by Cervelli, and they all have this really good black splotch on them. <laughs> None of my other baseballs really have that. Looks cool. Then I got one more player, and I was really excited because I had actually never gotten his autograph in person before. Got him on my 1990 team ball, Mr. Andy Van Slyke. Real social, real nice, and his arms were jacked. You can tell he keeps himself in really good shape. The person in front of me was getting a photo signed and he accidentally pushed too hard on the marker and bled it a little bit on his photo and he was calling himself the biggest klutz in the world and I said, how could you be the biggest klutz? You're a five-time gold glover. He said, it's totally different. <laughs> so, with that in mind, he actually did a really good job of cleaning up the splotch on the person's photo. He dabbed it with a tissue for a little bit and came out just fine. I have got him to also sign this baseball on the sweet spot and I asked for the gold glove inscription. I did not have a gold glove baseball to give him but this is just fine. I am totally fine with this. Alright there you have it. I appreciate you checking out my videos. Hunt Auctions, Autograph Recap 2016. Take care.